lovely day outside in the Netherlands today so I thought you know what let's just move the office outside and a few weeks back I was actually in London for like a mastermind meetup uh, where a load of social media marketers and influencers got together and actually got talking to Jovan who is a social media marketer from Toronto Canada and we done a video for his channel where he just interviewed me asked me a couple of questions on how I got started stuff like that and I thought you know what let's upload it to my channel as well because you know you never know who gets value out of it and it's someone on my channel that uh, just takes that little golden nugget out of it or like that it sparks an idea in his head that gets him started then then that like that video would have been is already a success for me so um, guys if you get anything out of it or if you got anything out of my channel in general then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more let me know what you thought of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one going on welcome back to the channel i have a special guest with me here today if you want to introduce yourself his name is josh i don't know what's your phone what's the full name joshua daniel george joshua daniel george is here with me today and uh, we're going to be asking him some questions about uh, basically his business and uh, how we got into uh, the social media marketing space all right so um give us a little 30 second rundown what is it you do and uh, how did you get started into this okay so my name is joshua daniel uh, i do social media marketing i've got an agency that is based in the netherlands called brand Panier. Uh, we focus mainly. Great name, great name, by the way. Brampton, Love yeah. the name, yeah. I'm proud of the name. Wow, bro. Yeah, bro. Great name, by the way. I've commented on that multiple times. Keep going. It's natural. All right. All right. We'll leave that in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Brampton, social media marketing AC. We focus mainly on clients that want social media management. Mm -hmm. So we provide, like, we post on their social media pages every day, make sure they build up the following and basically generate more revenue with their business by leveraging social media marketing and social media management. Awesome. So you guys do, um, uh, do you do like any like uh, ad creation or is it mainly kind of the content creation or how does that? Yeah, so we do both, mm -hmm. but our focus at the moment is ad cre uh, content creation. Mm -hmm. So we do the graphics so we post and stuff like that. And we are looking into doing more ads because we think that ads are more like high ticket clients. Mm -hmm. So we can provide more value, but also charge more so we can earn more money and they can earn more money. Yeah, okay, right on. And so like how long ago did you get into all like all this stuff? Uh, so I've actually been looking into it for about a year, mm -hmm. but I didn't actually take action until January, like from June to like late December. I yeah. was I was in, I had like the seminar high where I was constantly like looking through courses, mm -hmm. studying, but not actually applying the knowledge. And then in January, I just had that like the switch point where I think, okay, no, I actually need to start applying what I know. You no, know, going for meetings, trying to land clients, trying to get them results. So yeah, I, I think from January is actually when I started doing so this. So it, it was just like months of just like research and like information gathering or? Yeah, basically, but like, where you know what to do, but you just haven't got that the confidence to okay. actually go out and do it. So from January is when I actually started applying the knowledge. From January, and now, so it's been, it's been basically about four or five months since January. Yeah. Right. Um. What kind of results have you been able to get? Like, if you want to share specific numbers, I always love sharing numbers so that people know like this is possible. Yeah. But, like yeah, in terms of like where kind of are you at? Like how quickly did you were you able to get there? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so uh, Brampanier is a six-figure business. Okay. And we now, like like I said, we focus on management clients, and management clients aren't really high ticket. So mm -hmm. mainly clients, we we have retainers between. 800 and 1200 a month and we now have 14 clients that we we manage 14 clients yeah so it's a lot of work because yeah. you have to deal with all the different type of clients but it's like because i actually love doing what i do mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like work like i actually enjoy you know creating graphics getting results and growing other people's pages do you think most people like doing what they love no no i think there's only a select few that actually enjoy doing what they love mm -hmm. so what would you tell to like people that want to do what they love like how can they how can they take the first step into like not following like a certain path that their parents wanted them to do or like that they're pressured to do and kind of just do what they want to do what's like the advice you would give to someone yeah i think it's, it's actually it's more difficult than we actually think like there's so much pressure from like the outside world to like follow the norm you know like go to school get a job mm -hmm. you know work like 40 50 hours a week 
you know, retire, get that gold watch, and then you've got like what, yeah. like five, ten, or ten years to yeah. actually enjoy what you want to do. But I think nowadays, with 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 the internet and with the you know social media, there's so much opportunity out mm. there. Like, like for example, the fact that we're in contact with each other. Yeah. Like, that's just the, the proof, like the power of social media, or like the 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 meetup that we're going to do tomorrow. You know, we're just going to all get together, and the people from all around the world. And we're, we're actually together now, meeting up. Like that is the power of social media. That is just an example of the like the endless amount of possibility out there. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we this is like our first time meeting. I I'm from Canada. You're from uh, Amsterdam. He's from Amsterdam. So like two completely different places. Yeah. And thanks to like the internet and social media, basically, we were able to both meet over here and not in uh, London and just like connect, which is like insane. Cause like 15 years ago, you can, you can do That's this it, stuff, man. Exactly, and like this is just like a friendly get together, but you can actually earn like good money with social media, like by leveraging social media, yeah. by, you know, you've got personal branding, you've got dropshipping, Amazon FBA, you've got social media marketing. Like with the internet, there's so many possibilities. There's so many ways to earn money online, like from the comfort of your own mm -hmm. home. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a big thing, man. One thing I do want to ask you though is, um, what was your like um, trigger moment? Like, what was your epiphany moment where you were like, <laughs> "Fuck everything else, I want to do me, and I want to do brandpreneur and have my own business and live the life I want to live." What was like? What kind of happened yeah, in your like? What happened? So actually, um, my granddad was the person who came over from England, UK to the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So he's like the reason why I, we live in the Netherlands. I was born in the Netherlands. Okay. And he was like an entrepreneur through and through. He had his own um, recruitment agency and he just lived life on his own terms. You know, he wasn't like restricted to a certain uh, country or rule. And he actually died uh, early 2016. And he always used to say like, we owe them nothing, you know, like stand by what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And when he died, I actually started really thinking about that. Like thinking, okay, like, am I actually living life on my own terms? Like or am I being influenced by other people? Mm -hmm. And from that moment I thought, you know what? Uh, I'm not no longer going to let people like get me down or no longer going to listen to what others say. Yeah. And that is actually when I started my uh, Instagram page, you know, I started doing YouTube videos. It was fitness based first. And then I slowly realized that I liked content creation mm -hmm. and uh, I liked the business side of it more than the fitness part of it. Okay. And that is when like brand Panier emerged. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so that was kind of your your moment there. Do you think that like, what do you think needs to happen in other people's lives so that they would have that moment? Do you think it has to be like a drastic, like something happens to them or do you think they can just decide to do this or? Yeah, like it doesn't have to be like a drastic thing to happen. Like you just need to decide, you just mm -hmm. need to, you, first of all, you th I think you need to realize that it's possible. Like you can earn money doing what you love. You can earn money online. You can earn money from the comfort of your own home and a lot of it. Mm -hmm. I think once you, you know that it's possible, you just need to decide, okay, I'm gonna at least do research, figure out like what are the financial vehicles? How can you actually earn money online? Pick one and just try it. Mm -hmm. And don't, don't quit, like actually go for it. Give it at least a year before you give up. Do you think people get stuck in this frame of like, too, doing too much, because you said you, do, you, you were doing months of research, right? Do you think a lot of people kind of, they decide they want to get into this, but then they're stuck in this like, I think someone called it analysis paralysis, where they're like doing research on like drop shipping and then SMMA and yeah. then like Amazon, they don't know which one to start. Yeah, I think a lot of people have that. And I think a lot of people start something and figure out that it actually takes a lot more work than mm -hmm. they realize. And then they see someone else's Instagram story where they're earning money where, a different financial vehicle and then you hop over to that try that for a month realize mm -hmm. it takes more work yeah and then just keep hopping from financial vehicle to financial yeah. vehicle like that's what i said you need to give it at least a year and you need to give it everything and realize that it's so much more than people let on mm -hmm. it's you know it's it's not just the highlights of people's instagram stories yeah like there's so much behind the scenes yeah. work going on yeah well i mean one of the things when you have like a regular job it's like you start making money right away right yeah and but that's the job but like when you want to do your own thing like you got to build up to a certain point where you're making money you might not make money like you said for like a year even right yeah that's it like yeah, that, yeah like when i started my first clients like my first real clients was 300 euros a month for mm -hmm. social media management and before that i actually done like content creation videos for free yeah like i actually worked for free like i didn't get anything and like obviously 300 is not, you can't really live off 300 either. Yeah. So like, you know what I mean? Like it started off so small 
but you just need to stick at it, you know, get results, ask for referrals, ask for testimonials, show that you can actually do the work and it just it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and snowballs and once you got a like, client one then you can focus on getting client two mm -hmm. and then your income just doubles and just keep doing that over and over again yeah and even then you're still getting experience you're still get learning a lot of things even when you're working for free exactly and it's not like you're not exchanging time for money yeah so like this there's, there's, you can just scale endlessly if you want yeah. yeah so i got two more questions for you what are your plans uh moving forward throughout this year where's kind of where do you want to go what are some things you like to achieve Okay, so when I, uh, I think it was like the 1st of January, uh, I actually filmed myself saying my goals for this year. Mm -hmm. And I actually haven't looked at it since, so okay. I'm actually quite curious to see what it actually looks like. Uh, and my goal was 50,000 euros um, like revenue from my agency by getting four or five clients. I think my last like goal was to have the, like, the, the possibility to move out if I want, like the financial mm -hmm. uh, capacity to move out. And I think that, like once you realize that it's achievable, your goal just gets bigger. bigger. So now it's like, it's not, it's no longer 50K, I want actually in 100K. And I don't want four clients, I actually want like, you know, like 20 big clients. Yeah. And you know, it, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But I think 100K for this year is definitely a possibility. Yeah, I think it's a solid goal. And yeah, like you said, man, like once you get that goal, it's like, then you realize, oh, I didn't, I wasn't aiming big enough. And then you, the bar just keeps going higher. That's and, higher. It. and I do think that if you speak life into it, if you actually say it out in the open, mm -hmm then it's like the power of the universe. Like it yeah. sounds so esoteric, but yeah. it's so true. Like if you say it out loud or if you actually believe in it, write it down, it, it just happens. That's good advice right there. Um, one last thing I want to ask you is, let's say someone walks up to you right now and they say, they say, Josh, I want to do this. What's the first step I need to take to make this happen? What do you tell them? So in any like generic, um, yeah, way. let's say because let's say they want to they just don't want to go down the regular path like most people do They just want to live on their own terms yeah. and do what they want to do What's the first thing you tell them that they need to do seek advice from those at the top of the field? So find out what financial vehicle fits you the most like what you actually like doing what fits your lifestyle and just find like a mentor or mm -hmm. someone that you can buy a course off or buy coaching or just get advice from extract that knowledge apply it to your own life and just go from there. So find like a mentor? Yeah, basically, or not necessarily a mentor that actually speaks to you, but you can, you can just buy his course, buy his, watch his content, soak up anything, you know, from his, his, like any knowledge that he's got, just soak it up and apply it because that person is a few steps ahead of you. Yeah. You know, that person is where you want to go, where you want to be. So, you know, you just, you just follow the steps that he's taken rather than trying to figure it out yourself and reinventing the wheel. Don't reinvent the wheel, folks. Follow follow the path that's been proven to work and then just make exactly. it your own, I guess, right? Exactly. No need to reinvent the wheel. Like everything is just like a re repeat or a different spin on something that's already been invented. That is true. That yeah. is true. That's facts right there, folks. Um, we're going to wrap this up here. Yes. Uh, I hope you guys learned something new. I know there's a lot of people that want to get into this stuff. They don't yeah. know where to start. They don't know what it is really. So I really appreciate you uh, coming on here and kind of sharing your experience and your knowledge. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment. You can follow uh, Josh. I'll leave his Instagram and all his yes. stuff in the, in the description. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Yes. Peace. Gotta do what I gotta do.